Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to talk about the Yoshimura EPA compliant exhaust systems. What they're shooting for is, is meeting the regulation for sound, which is 80 decibels, federally mandated. Okay, it's something that's not enforced very big right now, but the regulations are in place and enforcement in certain pockets is beginning to happen and it will continue to do so as time wears on. The motorcycles are a little bit behind the cars when it comes to these things, right? The emissions and the noise regulations. Yoshimura has taken the time to address this problem, right, before it became huge. And I think it's going to turn out to be a very wise decision on their behalf as time wears on. What separates the EPA compliance stuff from the standard stuff is really pretty simple. Two things. This is a standard R77 canister. Stainless sleeve, good looking carbon tip, right? It's a good looking can. If you'll zoom in right there, this has been approved and tagged, riveted on, that this is EPA compliant, right? So you're good to go. You've got this on your bike, you're not getting a ticket. That's in place. How they do that is really pretty simple. When you look at this, you see it's just a standard R77 canister. It's got that low volume sound insert in place. The canisters typically already come with that and they're removable or you know you can remove them, reinstall them, depending upon what you want to do. With the EPA compliance stuff, when this is installed, it has to be essentially permanently fastened in place so you can't tamper with it and take it out. How they've done that, from what I can see on this can, is really pretty simple. Here is the access hole for the retaining bolt for the sound insert. Looking inside there, you won't see this on the camera, but I was able to see it. It looked like there were a couple of tack welds that hold that screw in place so it cannot be removed, thus making this insert a permanent part of the canister. This is primarily a slip-on line, with the exception of currently one motorcycle, which is, I believe it's a Honda CBR1000RR, that you get a full system that has a catalyst built into it, as well as having that low volume insert in the canister, right? The rest of it is a slip-on system, because in order for it to be compliant, the catalyst has to remain in place as well. The catalyst has been removed, and you have this canister on, it's technically not going to be compliant. End of the day, by replacing the stock muffler with this, see with a low volume insert, you'll typically lose a little weight, gain a little performance, and it certainly looks a whole heck of a lot cooler. All right, you might not get all the same performance benefits that you would with an open exhaust, which I suppose is, is pretty reasonable and to be expected. The good news is these modern bikes are also down fast right from Jump Street. I think you'll still be okay. Hopefully this helps. This is just a quick overview and explanation of the Yoshimura EPA noise compliant exhaust line. For any further questions, never hesitate to consult our website, sportbiketrackgear.com. Contact us directly to ask questions. We're here to answer those. Or even contact Yoshimura here in the U.S. They've got a great staff. It's a great company and they can answer the questions for you too. I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com.